Is it gonna be difficult? Absolutely. Is it gonna be painful? Guaranteed. You gotta expect these things, but what outcome do you want more? Good morning, champ. Welcome to Chief here, the professional prowl solver, coming to you live for another episode of Wake and Make. Today, we're going to talk about persistence. How can you stay motivated? How can you stay on the grind? How can you continue to move forward even when everything is going against you? I'm going to share with you 10 life lessons that are going to help you keep moving forward. Let's unfold. The first lesson is that in order for a new life to start, the old one must end, which means all of the bad habits have to stop if you want the new habits to come in. Is it going to be difficult? Absolutely. Is it going to be painful? Guaranteed. You got to expect these things, but what outcome do you want more? If you want the old life to end, you must kill it. When you're making the decision, the actual word decide means to kill, to cut off. Everything from the old must die. Number two, look, one bad day does not define you. It happens to all of us. We all relapse. We all mess up once in a while. We're humans. It happens. The whole point is for you to get back on the horse and to continue moving forward from the next day. Number three, not trying is a mistake. Even if your try is not perfect, it's much better than not trying at all. Even if you just go for a walk, that still counts as an exercise. You moved, you did it. Number four, we all suffer from labels. People are very fast to judge. Never allow anyone to put a label on you. Have an opinion about yourself. Make sure it's a good one and stick to that. You put the label. Don't allow people to put labels on you and start living by that. Number five, it's okay to outgrow your family. It's okay to outgrow your friends. It's okay to outgrow people who don't want to grow themselves. It's totally fine. It was their choice to stop growing and not yours. Number six, I don't care about your opinion unless it's backed up by data. And failure is the best data there is. Success is a terrible and very lousy teacher. But failure is an amazing data. You can tell what doesn't work and you can try the opposite if you want something to work. So trust your failure. Trust your mistakes. Keep in mind it's win or learn. It's not win or lose. Number seven, we're constantly trading time. Time is the currency. Time is God's currency, okay? What are you trading your time for? This is amazing method, amazing technique to wake up, to get back on track, to focus. What am I trading my time for? This is something that we rarely ask ourselves, and it's a critical question to ask several times a day. Number eight, who you are is what you say about yourself. Eventually, what you say about yourself is going to become you. Be careful what you say after I and make sure it's a positive thing, not a negative thing. Do not curse yourself. Number nine, don't confuse growing pains with breaking points. Sometimes in the middle of our growth process, we feel like we're dying. Oh, this will kill me. No, it won't. You're still breathing. This is a growing pain. Don't confuse the growing pain with breaking points. This is not the end. You're not going to die. Number 10, a lot of people think that love is painful. Love is not designed to be painful, okay? Love is sacrifice, but it's always justified. What that means is when you sacrifice for love, it's actually your pleasure. People who don't love are painful to handle. This is the part you need to understand. Sometimes we love people who don't love us back. That's where the pain comes from. Let's make it a great day and let's follow those tips and never, ever give up.